If you need to operate the choke manually, you just disconnect your hydraulic lines, plug it back into itself. Then any wheel in your choke house will fit on and it just opens and closes the same way you would any other valve in your choke house. This is our electric panel. On the left you have your auxiliary pressure. The right you have your manifold. Here in the middle are your stroke counters. You can run two chokes off this panel. And here's your hydraulic pressure. These levers open and close your chokes. To open the choke you pull down on the lever and to close it you push up. You can control how fast the choke opens and closes by how hard you push on the lever. So a little bit and more. This panel has two identical electric systems. It does not matter which side you use. If for some reason you have a problem with that side, then you can just change to the second system. If you lose power, there's also a manual pump you can charge the accumulators with. Which will allow you to still run the choke through the panel. This is our air panel. Here you have your auxiliary pressure, stroke counters, manifold pressure, your two position indicators for your chokes, whether you're running one or two, hydraulic pressure, and your rig air pressure. To operate the choke, you pull down on the lever to open it and push up on the lever to close it. You can control how fast the choke opens and closes by how much you push on the lever. So slow. Fast. This is the typical configuration you should see in your panel. Pump one on, your accumulator's on. Pump two off, and your bleed off closed. If you have a problem with pump one, you just turn off that pump and turn on pump two. If both pumps are down or you've lost air and you still want to run your choke from the panel, just make sure all your pumps are closed, your accumulator is open, and you can charge it with the manual pump.